Hey guys, today I am going to tell you the reality of botting and what is happening here. I think in terms of botting, this is the future for these rare products, these secret layers. What a bot is, it's a program that automatically enters and it tries over and over again to check out your information. Now you might be like, oh, well, how can the address be the same? Well, if you are like my friend and you owe, own an entire commercial rental unit, uh, there's probably over, there's 10 different floors and there's different stores and so on. Some of it is empty, some of it there are clients, but it all goes through one area. So especially if you have these virtual offices, then you have, uh, then all the mail actually gets sent to the front desk and then it can be picked up from there. And that's what he does. So this friend of mine has been botting, so he owns two sneaker stores in, in the local malls around us, and he bought sneakers. And then he started botting Taylor Swift things, and he started botting Magic the Gathering. He bought it Pokemon Center as well, and then he just sells them online, right? He just sells them via his eBay store. So you're going to see very few people with 100 plus of these items. And in fact, he's already offered, he always offers them to me, but the price is always very greedy. He's a very greedy MFer. So I've bought maybe a few boxes of Pokemon Center stuff just to have it in my collection, but not anything like this intense, right? So the botting, you're not going to be able to beat a physical bot, okay? Or a you as a physical person typing on your keyboard are not going to be an automated program that is trying to enter the queue thousands and thousands of times. The bot will always win. And the reason the bot will always win is it can wake up before you, or you can set triggers, you can set uh, attempts. And the, the way that they used to stop bots was you need like a separate address, but when the separate address is just a, a mailing address that has to be different, so instead of Suite 1100, you can do Suite 1101, 1102, 1102B, 1102C. You kind of understand what I'm saying here. And all the packages get sent to the front desk anyway because it's one of these virtual office things. And as long as you're kind of creative with how you're describing your facility, uh, you can bot a shit of them. I mean, botting is a very developed, it is very, very developed. Then the bot breaks, then you fix it. It's a very developed, uh, my friend paid over $20,000 for his bot, which he had like a team in India develop it, redesign it, make it faster. What you're actually competing against is other bots. I am not joking. Um, <laughs> you're not competing against actual human beings. You're competing against actual bots. And these bots are very intelligent. They're very fast. And there's not much you can do against them. So he bought it over 100. I think the number that he sent me was 108. Some of them will get canceled. Um, typically speaking, he says about a quarter of them get canceled. But the rest of them will get fulfilled. And the reason that sometimes there's a second drop is because then all the ones that they remove from obvious botting, they then do a second drop because then they want to sell the rest of the inventory. So yeah, this secret layer was very popular. And if there's any margins in this, you can be positive they're botting this shit like crazy, man. I mean, the Pokemon Center, good luck buying like whatever on Pokemon Center that is valuable. And good luck buying your know, sneakers. Like if you know anything about sneakers during the height of COVID, my God, it was impossible to bot. You know, like it was bots versus bots versus bots. There's barely any humans involved. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.